The message from Beijing, we're watching you. Defense officials say they monitored the entire course of the American B-52 bombers as they tested China's new and highly controversial air defense zone, claiming they have the capabilities to control the airspace. It's the latest round of rhetoric since China announced the zone just days ago. Stretching from China's coast and pushing east, bisecting what China calls the Diaoyu Islands, claimed by both China and Japan. Both the U.S. and Japan have called the unilateral move a dangerous escalation that could lead to a military flashpoint. China says the defense zone allows it to monitor aircraft that could threaten their national security. It's indeed the right of every country to um, defend its airspace and also to make sure that um, uh, its territorial integrity, its sovereignty are safeguarded. But analysts say it's a way for China to flex its military muscle, stake claim to the region, and counteract the U.S.'s so-called pivot to Asia. China is now sending their sole aircraft carrier to the South China Sea for what they call a routine training sale. All of this could just be saber-rattling because no one really believes that Beijing wants to start a fight with the U.S. or Japan. The real issue here in Tokyo may be less about what's going on in the air and more about what's going on on the ground. The Japanese government said it fears this is part of a new push by China to assert its claims over what Japan calls the Senkaku Islands. The Japanese government is ready to respond to this kind of uh, provocative act of Chinese side in a resolute yet uh, calm manner. The eight uninhabited islands and rocks are about twice the size of New York's Central Park. Experts say they may harbor oil and gas deposits. Tension in that corner of the East China Sea has long been running high. In 2010, Japanese Coast Guard cutters crashed into a Chinese fishing boat, sparking a diplomatic spat. Japan says it already scrambles fighter jets on an almost daily basis to intercept Chinese aircraft over the islands. Incoming U.S. Ambassador Caroline Kennedy is calling for level heads. In dangerous times, the United States has always stood for the principle that disputes should be resolved through diplomacy and dialogue, and we are ready to assist this process in every way we can. Japan's commercial airliners say they won't comply with orders to identify themselves to Chinese authorities as they fly through the airspace to Taiwan and Hong Kong. The airline companies insist passenger safety is not at risk. I'm Carl Penhall in Tokyo.